perfect, perfect, perfect. Ready? The markets of Wakamiki Miki are to the east, on the other side of the Bayside Bevy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old escort quest. Boop, boop. This is Aunt Till's Tacos, named for its owner here, the lovely Tilsol. They're after the best tacos in Tilialal. That place sits on the top of the Zabliav Tai. Yeah, yeah, and, and the fact that you can actually uh, like mount up to or or take a shard as well is just absolutely fantastic. You say that, I promise, but you only ever eat old Baruch's, Baruch Ewu's food. Come and buy mine for a change. Oh, 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 hello. Sorry, Tetzel. It has been a while, hasn't it? I swear, I'll stop for a bite once the contest is over. Screw that, let's fucking stop for a bite right now. <laughs> Give me those tacos. Well, I always forget to mount up when I'm able to mount up anyways. I like I I have it stuck in my head that I'm gonna like screw up the quest or whatever, even though I know I can do it. Holy Gods, my tongue is on fire. Oh, I would love it. Give me those hot and spicy tacos now. Mmm. Yeah, please, please do. Like, it just kind of, it always slips my mind because I'm... I st like, believe it or not, I still have wow muscle memory, man. Like, <laughs> it's like old school wow muscle memory. My, my third promise. How might I assist you this fine evening? Well met, Ropley. I need a buff, a nasty nick out of my axe blade. Yes, it has been chipped quite terribly. Trying to clean rocks again, were we? Uh, uh, something like that. Think you can fix it? You stand among Taral's most prestigious gathering of artisans and ask this question? Just child's play. We'll have it prepared for you in two shakes of an alpaca's tail. Good to hear. I leave it in your capable hands. Who's your companion, if I may ask? This is Rune, a great adventurer I recruited from across the salt. I brought him here to meet you, actually. Thought he might have a reason to visit Wakumiki Miki sooner or later. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Rupley. Humble representative of this grand center of trade. Pleasure to meet you, Rune. Peace. You there, stop dithering in the shadows and announce your business already. Oh, I've seen that man somewhere before. Ha 
Oh yeah, the boat. Right, right, right. Jewelry maker you met on the voyage over. Oh, I remember. I spoke with him. Do Von Sheen Tain. Yes, that was his name. I'm loitering like a flighty admirer who can't pluck up the courage to confess his feelings. Out with it then. Why are you here? I, uh, th that is to say. Ha 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 ha! I'm out of here! Ah, uh, and we're no closer to solving that enigma. Ha 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 ha! I wonder if we could, you, you could use someone to talk to. I say we go and ask. Let me know by Link Pearl if you find him first. Oh shit. Barclays or to come here to Tyrell. <laughs> oh, just a week on the beach. You are conversing with Master Ropil. Ropley, but wait. We met before, haven't we, on the ship? You found him. Good. I'll be right there. Why did you run off like that? We have business with Ropley or not. Please, you need not concern yourselves with my affairs. I'm undeserving of such attention. Huh? What are you going on about? I beg of you, do not ask me to explain. Do not. Sorry, but the more you tell me not to, the more curious I become. Besides, you look like you need a friend. Oh, you are too kind. So be it. I suppose I can share with you a morsel of my misery. Before I came to Tulialal, I worked as a goldsmith at the most prestigious jewelry maker in all of Old Da, at Tames Aesthetics. Oh, it started off well enough. As the days passed, everything began to go wrong. Compared to the masterpieces of my talented colleagues, my products were lacking. Mediocre. I lost all confidence. Crippling doubt had possessed me, and my veneer of bravado I 
tried to put forth soon cracked beneath its weight. Thus did I take ship, hoping to find a fresh beginning on new shores. And as you witnessed, I lacked courage to even approach a potential employer. Stand before a man wallowing in the wreckage of his ill-spent existence. He learned some camera work from Hildy, 100%. Uh, all right then. You offered a, a, a morsel, then, then serve us the full course. You must have really wanted something to hear your story. Someone to hear your story, if, if you like. I could try to give you a few words of advice. Then you've experienced... Have experienced my predicament? Feeling terribly inadequate compared to your undeniably superior peers? Well, when you put it that way, I, uh... The answer is yes. But the thing she has over all them is she's actually a good leader. Uh, <laughs> not me. I'm Wook Lamont, third promise of Tuli Alal. Daughter of the Dawn Servant. Oh, oh, of course. You're a member of the royal family. Please forgive my presumptuousness. But what of you? Have you ever measured your work against that of your colleagues and found yourself wanting? <laughs> Can't measure your worth by the success of others. How can I not? Should my work not meet the same exacting standards? No new commissions will be forthcoming. What then was the point of my becoming a goldsmith? Hmm, looking back, does my father inspire me to take up the trade? His exquisite creations brought radiant smiles to the faces of his clients, and I admired him deeply for it. But in the course of striving to be as great a goldsmith as him, I lost sight of my original motivation. I leveled goldsmith for Gil, of course. <laughs> I wish somehow that could be interjected into the storyline. And just watch his face crumble even further. All I ever wanted to do is spread the joy of my craft as he did. Perhaps, perhaps I will give this one last try. Thank you for both, both for reminding me of what is truly important. Any time, buddy. What is truly important. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Rune. I didn't mean to ignore you. But yes, I am glad to see you. Argentine is giving himself another chance. Pop that right over there. Awesome. Okay. Good, good, good. Clement wonders how Fongentine, uh, sorry, Fon, Fongentine is getting on. I can't help wonder if Fongentine it will allow, will follow through. Let's see if he's actually gone to talk with Ropley. A 
and now it's raining. Looks like it's raining. did an amazing yeah the rain well and especially and especially when the on the textures when it from the rain it was kind of you to come but, but you needn't worry i've found my courage I accept my apologies for my earlier behavior. My name is Fon Jontain, and I am a goldsmith from Olda in faraway Eorzea. I realize this is a bold request, but I should like to continue practicing my trade here at Waku Miki Miki. You would have me. I ask only for the opportunity to bring happiness to others with my creations. So that's what it was about. You were looking for work. Consider yourself hired. Wakamimi is always in need of skilled craftsmen and women. I'll handle the necessary paperwork. Can you start tomorrow? Yes. Yes, of course. I must thank you both again for your sage and timely advice. I don't know if that I was all that helpful. But you were. Had you not come to speak to me, I would not have had the moment of much needed self-reflection. Alright, dinner is made now. Uh, to eat. Oh, mac and cheese. Or eat chicken in it. Watch your, oh god you're killing me dude that sounds amazing although i can't complain i did have uh i did have a leftover uh blade steak roast uh with mashed potatoes and broccoli so uh yeah yeah i, I did all right too but the mac and cheese just made me hungry again uh the arrangements have been made Come and meet me at the entrance. Oh, sorry, this is Aaronville. The, the arrangements have been made. Come and meet me at the entrance of High Tide Harbor. Yeah, I did the, uh, yeah, I steamed the broccoli. Wow, well, the mashed potatoes were, well, mashed potatoes, so. Oh, white cheddars. And shells, yes! Oh my god, we are brothers from another mother. It's all about the shells. You gotta have shells with mac and cheese. Screw that elbow macaroni crap. Just like when I make my uh when I make my tuna, when I make my tuna pasta salad, I use uh rigatoni. I don't use the uh the elbows. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you have my axe ready, Ropley? Ready and waiting. Behold the sublime touch of Wakimiki Miki Artisan. Oh, side salad too, good man. Oh, it is as sharp and deadly as the first day I held it. Thank you. Yeah, they sure do hold more sauce, dude.
They also help scoop. I don't know if you like tore up the chicken into it or what, but they're, they're just great. They're like little mini spoons, right? Well, good luck to you, Fawn Chantaine. Let me know if that doubt creeps back in and I'd be happy to talk you out of it. Yeah, she's totally a natural leader. As for us, we should head for the harbor. Wouldn't want to keep Erinville waiting. Well, just womp a womp womp this way. Enough with the secrecy. What's this big plan? Oh, they're going to take a boat. Oh, shit. Look there. That is my big plan. <laughs> and I, oh, man, I hope so too, brother. What? What, what is that? <laughs> the manatee. Oh, it's a punity. She'll be pulling our boat upriver. How do we know she won't thrash boat and sink us instead? They're gentle and timid creatures. For the most part, She's unlikely to cause a fuss unless you give her a reason to do so. First alpacas, now punities. We're relying a lot on animals for this journey. We should be thankful we have an animal expert as our guide then. Did it have to be my old nemesis? Another boat. Ha 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 ha. Well, I'll look for someone who was up to the challenge. Was I wrong? Uh, long ago, when fighting still raged between the clans, the inhabitants of Kazamak Buka rode these river boats to move swiftly through hostile territory. Say, yeah, I'll say you savage. You racist. <laughs> but the vessels see little use with the Ral now at peace, so I was able to borrow one of the few which would remain. I did consider a dirigible, but the pilots warned me that the updrafts near the falls would make landing difficult. You said borrowed one, yet there appear to be several on the water. Oh shit. Kona! Mama Tia. Traveling up river, I presume? Seems that way. Does this mean you've earned two keystones already? can't believe how well you've managed despite undertaking the contest alone. But he hasn't. I was never alone. I've had my entourage with me since the beginning. My friends, it's been, well, not that long. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
Tancred! Ariadne! What are you doing here? Escorting a promise. The same as you. Look. Oh my god, his hair looks fucking glorious. Actually, both of their hair looks glorious, but... Wow. I'd heard much of the incomparable Archons during my time at the studium. As soon as the contest was confirmed, I thought who better to recruit to my cause. I contacted the Skarlark who arranged an introduction to these two gentlemen. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, it's, it's on, dude. The second promise had specific requirements. They, who would be his assistants, must boast both proven survival skills and mastery of the arcane arts. Look at his, look at his shield. Holy shit. Thus did Thankard and I receive the summons. And look at his leg armor. Oh, dude. And then the big shells for the gun blade. My own studies concentrated on technology, which our people could really use, such as in, such as inventions born of magitech or clever engineering. Where magic was concerned, I covered only the foundation. Knowing you two, I expect you had other reasons for accepting this job, or the job. A few. The nation of Tulialal spans an entire continent. Depending on who wins the throne, the world may be plunged into instability once more. Ever have we striven to preserve peace. Where is our place if not here and now? We did our due diligence, of course, and made sure of who we were working with before agreeing to this endeavor. He's even more opaque than the Marianne at times, but is surprisingly. That's quite enough of that. We must be on our way. Ha! Ah. Wait, I have one question before you leave. Kawona and Luke Mukamat are vying for the throne. As Kawana's our entourage, does that mean you resolve to defeat all his in opponents, including us? Oh shit, here it is. Where's my Beitola? We're sworn to do all in our power to win this contest for Kawana. Even if it means competing against our own comrades. We intend to hold nothing back and expect you to do the same. And look at that shit eaten grin on his face. And we won't disappoint you. That's right, Alice. You get him. <laughs> I know they stayed behind. It doesn't mean that I can't miss them. I thought you were taking a boat. If even you have been forced to travel on water, then the others will be doing the same. I would rather walk than risk confrontation on a leaky barge with no possibility of retreat. It's true that I can't stand boats. But I trust the route Erinville has chosen for us. Yeah, oh god, that's a, such a huge taco too, man. Leave the handling of the penalty to me. Should other wildlife attack us, however, I may have difficulties keeping her under control. Do your best to draw them away. As far from the front of the boat as possible. Oh god, oh god, oh god, is this uh is this an instance? Oh 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 
then we shall remain on deck and stand guard. Although it may be wise to have at least one of us sit up front with Anvil just in case. I'd like to stay on the deck. I'm eager to put my pictomancy to the proof. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you little pictomancer. And I'll take any chance to show you that I can hold my own on the battlefield. Then Kryl will stand on guard with Rune. I'll keep Aaronville company. Then, with my blade, I can respond more quickly to threats than Elfino. Thank you. If a fight breaks out, I'll try to stay out of your way. And I shall endeavor to provide aid where it is needed. Well, yeah, because you're the goddamn healer, dude. Get, get to work. I can do that as well. Well, no, you're the tank. You should be taking all the shit to the face. That should cover most eventualities. Secure your gear and board the boat when you are ready. Awesome. All right, now, oh, <laughs> let the hunt begin. You're such a goof. Oh, yeah, we got an instance, baby. All right, uh, and uh, Ash, just to remember correctly, you said uh, not to worry about eating food until uh, until the fruit until the boss pops up, right? Right before the first boss. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tranquila DPS. Trash mobs give no XP. Okay. Sorry, punity go. Look at that. God, is back cool. Is it back cool, Cha Cha? Get who else is on the river right now? We have company.
Oh, I forgot I turned off. Uh... the NPC effects. I should really turn it back on again, because I do want to see uh, the Pictomancer stuff, but... Nice. Whoa, 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 oh, shit! Some SDF1 action, Lord. Lord. Sky chase level using uh, parallax effect, like water here, but. City. Oh, very cool, man. Come closer, we have something for you. Courtesy, blessed of the of the blessed siblings. now like you can see the uh the, the notes very clearly oh. Oh. done and done nice cheaters <laughs> have a fair fight damn you but cool cha He's broken the boat. Crippling our boat was a cowardly move. Erinville, we're losing speed. I cannot command this punity. Confider, oh man, I can only imagine. We won't be going anywhere. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, wow. Look at that water. Texture of the wood, the stream. Oh, shit. That's a big boy. Thank 
Thank you, sir. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Ow, that was my own fault. Okay, okay. Hey, what are you, what are you, why are you running over here? Wish she had no doubts. Look at this place. Oh, my God, this is gorgeous. Darling, 
good, good, good. Yeah, oh yeah, we're setting them on fire, all right. Some misfortune fallen thy vessel. Oh, you son, banker, you son of a. Wow. I'm gonna be punching you. Yeah, ladder climbing in final fist break. Never hurt. Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got some. Oh, look at these dudes. Look at these slimes. Looking good. Is cursed by a pictomancer, no doubts.
look at that though. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the lighting in here. Holy. Oh, and look at this dude. Oh shit, shit, shit. Drowsy's Grotto. You a little sleepy, buddy? See, yeah, it kind of does look like he's dancing, actually. Oops, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I don't, I don't, I don't. What are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, okay. All right. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Folks, just before we uh, attempt Drowsy for the second time here, I'm going to take a very, very quick bio break, and uh, then we'll get back to it. Thanks for hanging in there, folks. And anyone just checking out the channel, War Break to the Boss. Yeah, I do like that. That shortcut was pretty sweet. Um, if you're just checking out the channel, please remember to hit that follow button, uh, as it does help the, uh, the channel grow. And I will be right back. Thanks for hanging in there, folks. All right, so there's... And I hope I see what it is I've got to do this time. There's something with those, the uh, tentacles or whatever you want to call them that I missed the first time around.
the seeds with Aether. Okay, so I don't know. So once again, I'm not... Much as I hate to do it, I'm just I'm just hugging hugging an NPC's ass. go I, i'm hoping to go for at least another hour or two uh alien maybe even more oxide what's that oh i gotta make gotta make uh room my arm guard section What's that Hawkeye thing? All right, brother. Thanks for coming in to check out when you did, man. And hopefully we'll see you back. So what? So I saw a Hawkeye thing. Now I... D it doesn't show it in the... Stop playing the MSQ. I need to. Oh, are you are you what are you leveling leveling a character first, Tonix? Like, are you leveling Viper or Pictomancer or something first?
Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. And good to see you again, sir. Sorry for being rude there. So does anyone know what that... Where would that show up? Oh. What's that hawk's eye thing? Ah, I'll, I'll have to figure that out later. Of course, Tonics. You enjoy yourself, my friend. Thank And thanks for popping in just to say hi, brother. It's always appreciated. Someone's been ahead of us here a bit. Mr. Hunter, okay. Oh. I just look at these. Look at the fauna, man. Holy shit. beasts here.
this bad boy. Oh shit. sound of when your weapons hit the guys that come out of like the like those bell things or whatever like you can actually hear the metal being hit now too. Oh yeah, the shadows are just crazy town, man. Like I said, it's all, it's uh, it, it, it is so much of it is the lighting or or the, the inverse shadow that just makes everything pop so well. So what see, once again, I saw something else pop up. I don't know what that means. I'm going to have to research that quite obviously. Lose. Okay. 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 I think that's what I was seeing. Okay. Well, screw the slaying and the healing and the bending. Although, I guess I'll be perfectly honest. I guess I'm uh, got to level my healer first. I just picked up quite a few pieces of. Uh, of healing this uh, instant, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, may, may, maybe, Ashen. Unfortunately, I kind of screwed that up bio break, but whatever. Look at that big bastard.
ay, 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 ay. Hey, so what? What do we? Well, how? Right, yeah, I know. I screwed up. Uh, I screwed up because I took that bio break. That that really that really ate into into my food buff time, brother. Heartbreak shot. Oh, is that my new? Oh yeah 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 yeah. I am a heartbreaker. I know this. Thank you, Ash, and my friend. Not too, uh, not too shabby there. Only, uh, only wiped once. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, moderately impressed with myself. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 Hello. Oh, I might have to take an AFK for a second to go take care of something, guys. Holy shit. Now I feel like Zubatai from fucking Conan the Barbarian, man. Except like super built. Look at the braids of hair. Oh my God. Come on now.
Food for wolves. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, whoops, wrong one. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm sorry, that's... That's... Back in the wild. Pardon my... Pardon my French. Holy... Wowzers. Woo! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Oh, look at the... Look at the physics on it. <laughs> Wowzers. This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. We'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. I love her voice. Oh, oh, and look at the trees. Oh my God, this, this is just so gorgeous. Hey, everyone all right? Ha <laughs> ha, hey, Alice, hey. Oh, Rune's going full barbarian now, baby. Yeah, damn nice indeed. I was worried we, we might not catch up to you. Those caverns you traversed were dug by the Yokai in their search for gold. Remnants of their excavations can be found wherever, sorry. I appreciate the lesson, oh wise guide. Are we oh, landing this boat anytime soon? Oh, oh no, oh, the water sickness. Our river journey is almost over. For proof of that, you need only look ahead. Gorgeous. Also, we're, ah, sorry, guys. Yes, amazing. Now, please let me off. <laughs> Look at her axe, too. I just. Num, 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 num. Oh, no more boats. Are you... Are you not all right? Should be surprised if she was. Even without the nausea, we're all spent. There is a mountain shelter nearby. A resting spot for those who have ascended the stairs. I suggest we make use of it. That would be a welcome respite. Look at his, uh, what are they, Nisum? I can't remember what they're called, but, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Have you the strength for a short walk, Wuklamat? We can rest along the way, too. Damatol. Thomas is meant to lead from the uh, front, not mule and moan like a sick kitten. Oh, darling, you got it wrong. Look, Lamont. Ignore me. It's a nausea talking. I'm fine, really. Lead on. I'll follow.
Very well. If I might say one thing. Just because you're a promise or a claimant for the throne doesn't mean you can't be seen to struggle. You needn't bear this burden alone, so please don't hesitate to talk to us. We're always willing to lend an ear. But Kyle, I... Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, guys. I think I, I, oh, that this outfit is just, is just the effing bomb. Me and others is a skill all leaders require. Yeah, damn straight it is, brother. You as well, Rune. Well, yeah. I, I watched my whole group sacrifice themselves for me to save the universe, okay? Yes. I've always believed that this is my problem alone, but perhaps you have the right of it. Alright, I'll talk about things. J just give me a moment to collect my thoughts. Of course, as long as you need. We'll be waiting at the shelter when you're ready. Yeah, th these cutscenes are just... Absolutely gorgeous. I've long felt that I could never tell anyone when I was confused or hurting. That admitting to weakness would bring shame to Papa's name. But if you say you're willing to listen, then, then there are things I'd like to talk about. Come on, let's catch up to the others. Got it, darling. Oh, yeah, we gotta, gotta get on that. Look at the fat cat. Cricket. Oh, look at that little pussy willows there. Oh my god. And a Soren. Sorry, a Sporin. That looks just like just like fat cat. I see this is awesome. So the fat cat is obviously uh or sorry, fatter cat is obviously Scottish. She's got her sporter in there, the the purse, and and then the the kilt. Oh my god, I love this game so much. Oh wow! Oh my god, look at the leaves falling. Okay. Yeah, screw you, pal. Screw you, too. Powder Cat's gonna show you. First things first. Little zib to the zab. Look at this crystal. Holy. Nice.
We should stop here for the night. I understand the desire to rush ahead, but we need to recuperate from our punishing river adventure. Then it is. Then let's settle in. We'll need a cook fire, and there's meal preparation to be done. Awesome. I've been meaning to ask, but how does one become the adopted child of the Dawn Serpent? Mm. I was but a ball of fuzz at the time, so I don't remember much. <laughs> a ball of fuzz. Or of life in the palace. Just like my Felix. All I know is that I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel, but I've never bothered to return there. That's my that's my only uh I wish I wish we would have gotten Boo when she was a kitten cuz speaking of ball of fur oh my god she would have been the little literal definition cuz that's what she is now except bigger As far as I'm concerned Ulul Jaja is my only parent I quite understand I have no memories of my birth parents either. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galif was my dear grandfather, and he was all I needed. Well, see, and that's that's the interesting thing, Ash, and I think when we when we got her from the uh, the rescue, as a rescue like she had already had and she was just young she was like two or three years three years old uh and her kittens were also part were, were in the rescue as well uh well and i mean by kittens they were they were about the same size that when i got felix like felix was six weeks old when I when I when I got him six weeks two months something like that um but yeah she uh like she doesn't uh it, it's funny right the only well when she's pissed off she meows and every once in a while she like like her it's like she it's almost like she's got permanent laryngitis she doesn't she doesn't meow a lot. That tells me that she might actually be, might have been a feral cat because, because talker, talker kitties are domestic cats because out, out in the wild, cats don't meow, right? Like the, the meowing's all about human interaction. Right. But over, over the last year or so, I notice every once in a while, she, she plucks up the courage to, you know, do the meow thing. And of course, it's like, yeah, break my heart. What is it you want? Okay, I'll sell my car to you, buy you like golden cat treats or whatever. But whereas, whereas Felix is a nonstop talker. The reason why you guys don't hear him on the stream is because I have my compression set on the mic so that way you also don't hear the the air conditioner and, and crap like that but yeah Felix is a non-stop like rah, 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 rah. like he just you know he he wakes up when he wakes up from his like gazillion hour long naps it's non-stop talking have really fostered adult cats to stay as kittens yeah all the time he wants to be pet all the time while eating well yeah oh no no and i and i love i love talking of cats too right it's just like that's how i piece together a bit of boo's history right because she's 
<clears throat> she is very spoiled and very, very loved and and cuddles like a pro and stuff like that. But she's a, she is a very quiet kitty. Unless unless she wants to give you shit, that then the voice comes out pretty good. And, and especially with Felix, too, because like, like I said, Felix can be a bit of a. Felix can be a bit of a bully for sure, right? Um, and I don't, I don't blame him for that because I mean, Hey, it was me and him for like a year and a half before I met Jen and stuff. Right. So like, I mean, where he's, he's my best bud and, uh, and, and now there's, you know, now it's, there's, now there's the intruder as it were, <laughs> Sore situations were quite similar. Even though, even though they've been together for now, and their relationship has gotten much better over, over the years. But now it's like what they've been together for four years, four and a half years. But yeah, they're 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 starting to work it out. Even though Papa already had a trueborn son. He raised me and Kona with no less love. One time, <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, <laughs> Bob dropped everything and came to my rescue. I was scared and sobbing and ready for a scolding. But the head of resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal. I did get my lecture from the head of reason, though. He went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways I could have died. Every <laughs> chance well, yes, and by work things out, I mean I, I'm not trying to paint some sort of uh I'm not trying to paint anything other than it is because because Felix is much the same. He is. He is the alpha. He's about two and a half times the size of her. And he uh, but but like now now to be fair to him. Boo will use the fact that. She's my little princess and stuff. To her advantage she'll do she'll smack him and the first thing she does is she runs over to wherever dad is and either curls up in his lap or whatever like she's kind of ridiculous sometimes growing up papa was kind and patient but a tyrant when it came to training now of course i realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise for all the good it did. There's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana. I've lived such a sheltered life, yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people. Oh yeah, Felix Felix is my boy. He's uh he's my he's my sweetheart. He's just uh he's only a sweetheart to me. That's that's the problem. <laughs> actually, you know what? And he's good with people too. When I have my buddies over every once in a while and stuff, they're actually both They're both super awesome. But uh not fit to bear my title. Whoa, 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 look, Lamont. But you have the one thing that is very hard to teach. You're a natural, you've got charisma and natural leadership. Pardon me. Your cats hate other people. Oh, that's like my old. Okay, so. Uh, before Jen, uh, when I was married to my first wife or whatever, we had cats that hated everyone else too. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, just one second. I want to, uh, 
Maybe this will uh, give you a little bit of inspiration here. Uh, Ashen, I'm going to... Uh, and sorry, folks. just want to send Ashen this in Discord really quick. So I'm thinking I'm thinking that this would be one good another good idea for an emote. Uh and there's another one. Oh, there's another one that I'll send you after the stream. But anywho, back to back to Back to the matter at hand. <laughs> Sorry, folks. It was your worth by the success of others. Why do you want the throne? Why? Because my father built a nation where everyone can live in peace. And I want to keep it that way. That's what we'll do. Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. My reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. Bingo! It's always been about the Turali and what I can do for them. Oh yeah, he was a he was a freaking heartbreaker, dude. Holy. He, he he had this uh he had this terrible habit of uh I think he, I think it was after he turned 1 or just before he turned 1, every time I came home from work. This is before I was starting to work from home a lot, but I'd come home, he'd be meowing on the other side of the door, and that little bugger, every time I'd open the door, the first thing he'd do is, is freaking, like, rip down the hallway of the apartment. Uh, I think that's a, I think that's a you problem there, Tonics. Because Ashen, Ashen's hearing me, brother. Um, but uh, he would run down the hall every chance he got, and it was like, so it was our little game. And oh my god, there was uh, <laughs> it was hilarious because that uh, like I was uh, living in uh. So in the apartment building or whatever, it was just great. I met so many uh, nice, young, lovely ladies <laughs> via Felix. He melted all their hearts. It was fantastic. You know, but people people talk about dogs being great intro introductions. So so are little kittens. <laughs> Oh, he was the wing kitten. He was the wing kitten boss. Let me tell you. You said it yourself. Well, you, you probably you probably had me muted tonics not to ruin stuff. That and that makes sense. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. I'm sorry, everyone. I've been a fool. <laughs> well, I don't I don't From blame you, Tonics. I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. I wouldn't wanna I wouldn't I wanna listen to my brain jackass of a voice either. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tulihyolal 
and my fellow Turali. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. Damn straight it will. I will find the city of gold for all of us, along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Cryo. I swear. Aw, oh, Tonix, thank you so much for the bets, brother. You're a good man. I appreciate it, Wuklamart. But you needn't take on that burden as well. Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats. As his granddaughter, I wouldn't wish to endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation. So let's just concentrate on winning the contest. We have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey. Awesome. Here, here. We are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. With our combined talents, nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you for the lurk, good sir. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. <laughs> Meanwhile, the second promises camp. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Are you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister? Nay, there is no need for that. Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Helping you has made us rivals, aye. But we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Did, is, is this a different voice actor for Thancred or are they just, or did they just produce or record his voice differently? Unless of course it is a matter of winning or losing the contest, then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. Oh, shit. Despite our long history, never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. <laughs> Lamachi has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates, the head of the students of Badesian. Yeah, we'll do that later tonight. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna check too, because it's, it's, it, it's, it's very, and I mean, kudos to the, if it is a new voice actor, kudos to the guy, because he's like, it's there, but it's, there's just something a little different. And then there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. If he's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. That's right. Not that I have any intention of bowing out. Our time in Urkel Pacha only served to strengthen my resolve. We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. Ah. 
our nation can change for the better. And I will be the man to change it. Well, it's a start. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. Oh, you smart pricks. But to return to the subject of the right, I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes Dawnserned, not the one who performed the seven feats first. <laughs> the would-be victor need only possess the seven keystones. You. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Oh. oh. First promise. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. Over leftover recording. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, very, very well, maybe. And, and honestly, it could be just a simple thing. Uh, they, 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 uh, the voice is recorded with a different. EQ set up uh, which is which is very 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 possible because because like I said like it, it sounds like him but it doesn't so it's, it's so so to me though like it's I think they laid off the bottom end uh, on the EQ mix right so so his voice is just a little it's a little there's a little more trouble to it so <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient son? The only child ever sired by a two head. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly, Ashen. Cause cause everything else sounds only the ignorant or foolish the same to me. To see that you were born to be Don Servant. Such titles mean nothing. Ah, I neglected to mention, when I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence with Gurul Jaja's inner circle. They all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great, it can dictate the course of history. That's not good. If this power truly exists, then I humbly beg a fair share of it. He's a traitor. And I'm sorry that that <laughs> I'm sorry I am being a uh, lizard lizard uh lizard racist, I guess. But the shifting eyes makes me not trust him. Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside after all. And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course, no matter who is made to suffer. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, Ashen, you're killing me, brother. I fucking hate, pardon my language, sorry, Kona's okay. 
Kona, I am okay with everyone else. It's like In watching Gonzo, the like it's like bleed. it's like getting the the, the God's promise is no exception. It's like what I would have wanted to have seen for the Gal Garlemald rites of succession. Like what better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? Wow. Yeah, of course, brother. Earlier with Bakul Jaja. was hoping for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. It's because I kicked his ass for ya. Hmm. I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. Be a shame to lose a plaything, but we'd still have two more. <laughs> If I may ask, Chosen One, what are your plans for Tuliola after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we get about all that? We care only about the contest and proving our superiority. That would surely please mother and father. So where is mother? We know who his father is. And when we become Don's servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our kid to live in the city. Wow. <laughs> Fine idea. Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. But do it then. We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. <sighs> I made it. <sighs> I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat. <laughs> Yet, somehow I made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my arms, I can barely lift them. If, if I could just rest a moment. <laughs> you expect us to wait for you? Those who can't keep up will be left behind. Okay there. My brother has spoken. March or be father for the beasts. But I followed the teachings. Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for the blessed seedlings. Wait. Don't leave me behind. I'm begging you. Wow. All right, folks. I am, uh... Company's buffs, awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hang, hang tight, brother. I, uh, I need to very quickly take a, a bio break, and I will be right back, and I will gladly uh, take that education, sir. Uh, oh, go to social tab. Yeah. Okay. Uh, free company. Actions. Oh, cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Huh. 
Some commands not available. What is that? Interesting. Uh, oh, there we go. Cause I'm, I think I'm just a member, brother. I think you gotta, I think you gotta up me to, uh, you gotta up my rank. Oh, it's the queen boo. Hey, boo boo. Sir, awesome. Thank you very much, good sir. I am going to now take a very quick bio break, and I shall return. I want to thank everyone for checking out the channel tonight. Please remember to hit that follow button if you haven't done so already. I shall be right back. Being able to say those things has brought me such relief. It's like a stone has been lifted off my chest and I can take a full breath at last. I don't want to encumber myself like that again. I want to be better, will be better for myself and for my people. concerned about dangers on the road. The Moblin settlement of Urlandshire is not far from here, but be warned, the road will be taking its favorite hunting ground for bandits. With the stairs currently impossible, there will be fewer travelers, meaning brigands will be desperate for victims to ambush. Although considering our present company, I suppose my concern is unwarranted. And it's on the road. What have Zoral Jaw and Lanskar been doing? It seems it's up to me to restore order to the area. Ha <laughs> ha. And off she goes again. For now, we'll head west and aim for the bank of the second river.
Here we go. Do, do, do. Old Chocobo Keep. Let's, or sorry, the Alpaca Keep in this case. Hey, boo boo. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh my goodness, yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. The boo's just boo's gotta show herself off. The luxurious tail. Oh oh oh. But now I'm shy, Daddy. Take over dad's entire arm. Okay. Yeah, you can you can flop on the on the hand on the mouse. Yeah, sure. Oh my goodness. Well, what are these bandits? Apparently they're not foolish enough to attack a party of this size. Rutherenshire is just a little farther ahead. On the opposite bank of the Miyak Miyakabek Zoma. But let's remain vigilant all the same. I swear to God, they pick they pick place names to challenge everyone's reading capacity. Right, Boo? are just beautiful. This looks like it was a dome at one point. Very 
Very interesting. This is it. The village where a lay of pots from the Tully Law Saga took place. Erdenshire, Islesshire. May the similarity be a cultural inclination, I wonder. The settlements themselves couldn't be more different, though. The Shire appears custom built to resemble pots, while the other is a repurposed town. Of course. Welcome to Earth and China. Do I have the pleasure of happy greeting the third promise and her retinue? That's us. We're looking for the Dawn Servant Selector if you happen to know who that is. You are exchanging tongue flaps with her right now. Better Rock is a Elector, you see. Oh, that's helpful. We can cut straight to the performing the feat. As much as Red Rock would like to do just that, we have a much more pressing worry. The storm which hit our village shattered the cliffs and dropped rocks on our brain cases. Many help hands for the Protswarn were injured. There's no time for feet or metal tests. I'm sorry to hear that. After learning what the storm did to the stairs, I feared you'd been caught in its path. Uh, not to change the subject, but what are the pots sworn? Goldsmiths contracted to work for the Moblins. The word comes from pot like workshops where they practice their craft. The Moblins provided these pots worn with tools, materials, living quarters, everything that artisans could possibly need. This allows them to concentrate on producing what is widely known as the finest gold and metalwork in Toral. This is unacceptable. I was promised no distractions. Oh, jeez. Is that... Isn't that... She looks familiar. This is the best they can offer. I should have never left. What? Uh, Wakuma, Wakuma, sorry, Wakuma Kimi Kimi, right, Wakuma Kimi Kimi. She looks like the one who was the, the collector. You see, the pots weren't deserted us. Not enough healthy help hands. We are failing to uphold our side of the pot pack. Should all our pots weren't leave, Earthenshire will grind to a halt. We have to do something and do it soon. Then let us stand in for the injured helpers. I would give me the it would give me the chance to learn more about your people and your village. And if it brings us closer to beginning the feat, then all the better. This isn't strictly part of the contest, so don't feel obligated to join in. Take a rest while you can. Of course I'll help. I was hoping you would say that. I actually wasn't sure I could do this on my own. 
we'll all help. I doubt any of us could just sit around and watch. We'll take every help hand we can get. Bitterock Trud swears that once the pots won't have their perfect workshops again, we will commence the feat with all haste. You and the third promise can assist. Help hand rock and rock. You other four, follow Renera. There are other help got help hands in need of hand lending. I really appreciate appreciate you pitching in. I meant what I said at many eyes, many fires. There will be no more feigning strength. No more playing at being an invincible promise. There's one thing I've learned on this journey. It's how practiced you are at aiding those in need. Now I mean to make the most of having such an incredible mentor at my side. Now, let us find this rock rock fellow and see what we can do for him. Ah, oh, look at those wings. Holy jeez. Obligations without more help hands. Pot pack is broken and the pots are emptying. You've come, Dane Rakarak. Rakarak accepts your hand lending with joyous feel smiles. We can offer the pots one them promised not living good living. We might save the day yet. Whatever you need. Hello. Oh, nice. Texture. Wow. Look. Oh, wow. Nice, nice, nice. Akarok needs help learning about the pots were in Ka. What Akarok needs is for new help hands to create good living for pots were in Kai. Elvan assigned to Kai was hurt during the rock raid, so Rakarok took over. He knows nothing of Kai. What does Kai want? What does Kai need? Elvans do not bother with Potswarn with state straight tasks. Our job is to observe and anticipate to prepare. Things with guest think. Please guest uh a uh, guest thing with Rakarok. Find out what guy he is lacking so we can provide it. You can count on us. This is where a car he works, is it? The 
let's take a peek inside then. That must be Kahi. It'd be a lot quicker if we could just talk to him. That's not the way we do things around here, apparently. We'll have to leave him be. Try our hand at some guesting. Inspect the workshop. You may move the camera. Yeah, okay. He has no shortage of crafting materials. Must be something else he's missing. He's barely touched his meal. A dish is meant to be eaten hot or it loses savor. Must be boiling sitting so close to the furnace. There's no airflow to speak of. How could anyone work in the stifling heat? No. The tools are looking pretty worn down. Maybe it's time for some new ones. Right, after taking a good look, I think I have an idea of what things Kali might need want to improve his work condition. Head back outside and talk to Rakarok. your observations. What do you guys think? First off, I noticed Kahi hasn't touched his food. That the belly can't be good for his concentration. Maybe the cooking isn't to his liking. The food is very mouth-pleasing. Why wouldn't he want to eat it? But Rakarak is sure nothing when it comes to Kahi's taste. I can help you with that. My brother Kona is also Katsaro. And while everyone has their personal preferences, there are some they tend to share. Like an aversion to piping hot dishes. If it was brought to him like that, Kai probably wouldn't have been able to eat it until it cooled down. By the time he came back to it, it might have found cold and unappetizing. The simplest solution is to serve dishes that taste good no matter the temperature. Agarok would have never thought of that. Would that would promise mine explaining these things to our cook? Not at all. But I don't think that was the only reason Kai couldn't concentrate. That's our homeland is hot and dry. Never Kahi seemed to be suffering in front of that furnace. The way you could cool down the workshop. Oh, we can try a drafty shot. They make a lovely breeze. Do you know where we can get one of those? You can gather them from the shores of no return. There are many old boats there, abandoned by those who gave up on their search for the Golden City. 
Well, we salvaged them from Rex. Could you handle that for us, Rune? Oh, and one more thing. From what I can tell, Kai's files and saws, things were very worn down. Maybe a new set of tools is in order. Ah, Rakarak was too preoccupied with stocking materials. Serious oversight, which he will rectify. Buying good tools for good living is a help hand's responsibility. And we all have work to do. We can meet back here when our tasks are done. The shoals of no return are past the cranks. Through a tunnel southeast of here. You should be able to spot the passage from just outside the village. All right, folks. I am, uh, <laughs> I am feeling after the, after four hours, uh, oh, look at those little pink toesies, uh, after four hours, uh, tonight, I will, uh, I'm going to take a break and I will be, uh, live again, uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, ish around uh, I would say 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and we'll put in uh, we'll put in a good chunk of stream again oh my god I want that squirrel so bad that's the squirrel from the trailer oh my god I want that little guy so bad anyways I want to thank everyone who hung out with me tonight uh, Tonics thanks for showing me how to enable the guild uh, buffs and I'll make sure to do that from now on. And uh, Ashen, as always, brother, thank you so much for uh, the emotes you made for, for the channel. And I will be uh, seeing you all uh, very early uh, tomorrow. I do have my D&D group tomorrow night, so I won't be streaming tomorrow night. But I will be streaming during the day. So be good to yourselves to each other it's your pal rune signing out for the night god bless guys take care